So now let's talk about the drugs used in acute CHF. So first of all, let's see BNP analogs. So whenever there is an increase in blood volume, there is increased stretching of renal blood vessels, atrium and ventricles. This stretching causes secretion of urealatin by uh, renal blood vessels and ANP by atrium and BNP by ventricles. These sub uh, substances cause natriuresis in kidney due to which there will be diuresis also which will cause a decrease in blood volume. These substances also affect the blood vessel to cause vasodilatation. These effects will cause a decrease in blood flow to the kidney and to the heart. We have some drugs which are analogs of the, these sub, uh, substances Euleritide which is analog of uridilatin ANP analog caparitide BNP analog neseritide out of which only neseritide is an FDA approved drug So what effect these drugs do? Just like BNP these drugs decreases the blood flow to the heart and kidney due to which there is decrease in pulmonary edema So talking about neseritide it is always given intravenously because they are peptides so cannot be given orally. It is used in pulmonary edema caused by acute CHF. These drugs are metabolized by an enzyme neutral endopeptidase. This enzyme is inhibited by a drug known as sacubitril. This sacubitril is used along with swalsartan in chronic CHF to decrease the mortality. Neseritide also causes vas vasodilation that's why their side effect is hypotension. So now let's see the second class of drugs that is phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors. This enzyme phosphodiesterase 3 what, what they do? They metabolize cyclic AMP in heart and blood vessels. So when we will give this drug cause increase in cyclic AMP in heart and blood vessels. That's why they act as positive anotrope and vasodilators both. That's why they are known as ionodilators. So talking about their examples first drug is enamrinone. It has a side, side effect thrombocytopenia that's why they are not preferred in CHF and other drugs are milrinone and enoximone which are preferred drugs which are used in resistant left sided heart failure and drug of choice for the patients of right sided heart failure we have an another drug in this category that is levosimendone used in case of ineffectiveness of the above drugs this levosimendone not only they block phosphodiesterase 3 in enzyme but also they open potassium channels and causes vasodilation it also sensitizes the myocardium to calcium channels or calcium ions so now talking about the drugs used in chronic CHF we can use ACE inhibitors and ARBs they are started slowly and the dose is increased up to maximum recommended dose the dose is slowly increased in, in every one week and if these drugs are tolerated well, then we switch to Sacubitril plus Valsartan. In the midway between the lowest dose of ACE inhibitors and ARBs and the maximum dose of ACE inhibitors and ARBs, we give a second class of drug that is beta blockers. Beta blocker causes maximum decrease in mortality. We can use Nebulol, car Carvedilol, Bisoprolol and Metaprolol. We start these drugs with low doses and increase the drug dose slowly in every two weeks up to the maximum recommended dose. The third line drug that we have is spironolactone, then evapradin, then adn plus hydrolazine. In the next video, video we will discuss about the drug digoxin which is basically used for the symptomatic relief.